Kayak fam, Kiki Soto here, Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. So today we had a beautiful 70 some odd degree day and I started out doing a little bit of cleanup outside but then I said, you know what, I think I want to start some seeds and I think I'll start them outdoors. So this time last year, I did also start some herbs and flower seeds outside. So I figured I'll give it another go. Now the soil that I'm using is soil from this 20 gallon bag. I think I may have had some um, potatoes in there at first because I see some straw in there. But then I also think that during the fall, I was growing mustard greens in there. Yeah, but anyway, so these are my nursery pots. I have lots of them. I bought a ton of them. And as you can see, I'm reusing them. Um, so yeah, just soil from outside. I'm gonna fill up a few of these pots. And did y'all see that wriggly thing that was in there? Oh, child. Anyway, <laughs> this is the soil that I'm gonna use to start the seeds. And here we go. So I'm using my cheap $40 um, greenhouse that I used to store my seedlings last season um, outside when I didn't have a place for them to go yet. There's a sky pie. Say hi. <laughs> so I filled up 20 pots um, full of soil and the first round of seeds I'm going to do is going to be some Asian greens. I'm only going to do five varieties but I think I'll start with those because you know Asian greens they go to seed fast so I'm not gonna invest too much in them right now during the spring well about to be springtime going into summer but some of them I will I will start now this one here is from my Swiss garden my friend Jermaine over there um, I'm not quite sure what it is it's giving me spinach vibes but we'll see when we open the package so I've got my garden marker and my labels if you guys are not using garden markers you definitely should be but I'll leave a link for that in the description box one of my Amazon affiliate links you guys can check that out later anywho so these are the seeds and some of these seeds are very small um, the purple bok choy you know it is there in the brassica family the cabbage family so those seeds tend to be very small and when seeds are small you really just need to just sprinkle them right on top of the soil you know i have a rule of thumb to never plant or sow or bury your seeds any deeper than the size of the seed because you don't want them to be struggling to get to the top you know what i mean so like those small seeds like those i'm just gonna rake them in um, through the top of the soil but now see these are those Swiss seeds and it's not really giving me spinach vibes it's giving me more like beet or um, Swiss chard vibes so somewhere in that family either way I am here for it now see those seeds are a lot bigger as you can see so since the smaller seeds went in first and I just sprinkled them over the top I'm just gonna rake them into the soil just like that just just over the top lightly rake them but then these larger seeds I'm going to actually sprinkle another layer of dirt on top a thin layer not too much just enough to cover the seed just to get some good seed to soil contact and now for the rest of those pots the other 15 I am going to do all flowers <sighs> last season I had so many flowers it was amazing it was like a pollinators paradise if I could grow them all I would but I mean I'm dropping 15 here so <laughs> that's a good amount not including what's um, winter sown what's being um, what I started in my window um, garden so I'm just I'm, I'm in love with the flowers 
So the first five flowers I chose, I wanna say salvia, um, white bunch bachelor buttons, which I absolutely adore. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And so I'm using the same rule of thumb as with the veggie seeds. You never want to sow your seeds any deeper in the soil than the size of the seed. And those are bachelor button seeds. Aren't they cute? They remind me of like fishing lures, the way they look. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, a lot of seeds are very, very tiny and they don't take much to actually germinate you know just lightly press to the top of the soil and a little bit of sunlight and they're good to go and i am so excited about that salvia some of you may remember me growing the blue salvia right in my green stalk so this red one is going to be really really exciting so i'm just breaking in the smaller seeds um the echinacea and the bachelor buttons I'm going to cover with a light layer of soil because they're just a little bigger, just a tad bigger. And here are the other seeds that I'm going to be sowing, the Shasta Daisies, um, California Poppy, Helichrysum, I hope I said that correctly, um, Nasturtium, one of my faves, Plains Coreopsis, Larkspor, um, Balloon Flowers, Copper red straw flower and apricot aster. And I think there was another one. It may have been um, the black bachelor button. So I wanted to show you guys the nasturtium seeds. These seeds have a very tough outer coating. Some people soak them to break through. Some people uh, scarify them, meaning they, they nick the outer layer, but I've never had an issue um, getting these to germinate and germinate very quickly. I just keep the soil very moist. So just in case you are growing nasturtiums, um, you may wanna soak them or do something to kind of break that seal. So right now I'm just watering these in. I did not feel like getting my watering can. So if you ever need to water and you don't feel like lugging around the watering can, grab you a bottle and a thumbtack or a safety pin and just pop some holes in the top of the water bottle and you have a nice steady stream, like a nice little shower. It's not too hard. Um, the water is not too hard beating down on the seeds or the soil so the seeds aren't going to go flying and scattering all over the place or go down too deep into the soil to where they won't germinate or take forever to come up so yeah yeah it was the black bachelor button <laughs> and there they are there are all my flowers and asian greens and i'm just going to close this up and let nature do the rest
if you have made it this far into the video, congratulations, you have entered the giveaway zone. My good girlfriend, Denise, from Denise's Garden of Zen here on YouTube and also on um, Instagram. She has developed her own grow kits, her own beginner grow kits. So you know I had to support and I mean, check out this packaging. Thank you, now go grow some shit, I love that. You get the seed instructions there, um, a little description and instruction on all the seeds that she provides you with. This is a great beginner kit, guys. Some of everything, some of everything. And oh my gosh, so the whole kit, as soon as I opened it, I could smell the lavender. And that's what it is, she gives you some, um, like aromatherapy, like she's enticing you to get into the garden, okay? That lavender smells amazing. And so those are all the seeds there. You got peppers, you got flowers, you got collards, you got tomatoes, and then, um, oh, I see cucumbers. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. And she even includes soil pods to get you started yes very cool and she also gives you some markers so since you guys have made it to this part of the video and since I have two to spare I want to give away two of my good girlfriends Denise Garden of Zen grow kits I want to give two of them away to the first two people in the comment section to just name five varieties of seeds that I started between the flowers the Asian greens um, whatever you recall the first two people to comment five seed varieties that i started will win these two um grow kits so yeah i thank you guys so much for hanging out with me learn with me grow with me i love y'all for real see you next time bye